You know, if there's one thing I'll argue to the death, guys, that's going to be anyone who blames Hector Rodriguez for selling majority ownership of Optic, which eventually, uh, to a company, that being Infinite Entertainment, uh, that ran it into the ground, right? The old green wall, the old Optic that we once knew and loved is no longer. Yes, they have OGLA. I think a lot of us can agree, not the same vibe without Hector and all of his family members inside of it. I will argue to the death that anyone out there who tries to say that Hector did wrong by this, well, he's taking care of his own people more than any other CEO probably ever will in esports given the same circumstance and for all of you guys who do somehow make those comments they not only just bother me I can't imagine how they make a guy like Hex feel when he reads this can you imagine building anything from the ground up and especially to come to be one of the most notorious brands in esports and you sell majority ownership by the way he was still a partial owner at the time of sale just sold majority ownership to infinite entertainment there was one of many companies who had interest in buying optic he still had a small percentage afterwards as well nobody Nobody would have guessed that the company he sold that to could have done what they did. Not many companies can accomplish what Infinite Entertainment did in such a short period of time in the derailing of Optic and the green wall that it was, and especially now that Hector is still in esports and still an active CEO, and the fact he is taking care of his former members, there is rarity when it comes to a guy like Hector taking care of his own members to a certain extent, and many esports owners, by the way, will sell partial ownership, if not majority, before they die right you gotta eventually reap what you sow this guy can only keep on farming for so long and building up the brand that was optic at a certain point in time he has to be rewarded for that right and it just so happened to be the company he sold optic to well they were a god-awful company doing things god-awfully at the left turn right turn every single opportunity they could to do poorly they did and they ran optic into the ground but there is no one who should be questioning hector in terms of what he has done over the past six months or so and actually trying to make better and make do what he is now as a part of nrg and i'll get to that point right now guys because when it comes time for a ceo who sells majority ownership for their esports organization most will not be able to join another esports organization also as a ceo and start signing on their own players and even if they do they probably won't have the power in order to do so hector is taking full advantage of that the list goes on and on as he takes care of his former optic members the first of which started with hitch right and the tst the team summertime boys that being blake and george but primarily hitch he takes care of right away one of the best content teams currently in esports alongside the hunter thieves mob they signed them right away and it only continued after that then you get scump informal right t2p obviously guys the call of duty roster was not going to stick together you lose Karma, you lose Crim6, you get back Formal though, and you keep a guy like Scump. You keep, I would say, a lot of the big faces when it comes to the former Optic Call of Duty roster. And yes, they are now part of the Chicago Huntsman, which in its own right is already doing very well and making a name for itself. So you keep those two guys. Yes, you lose a few. And again, that was going to be a mess no matter what happens. And alongside that Call of Duty roster, you get Scump and Formal, and you sign one of the most controversial subs in Call of Duty currently because... He's one of your own. That being Embos, likely will not touch the field at all this season, but Hector, even with all the heckling, all the backlash he knew he would get, he signs Embos because he's former Optic, he's current family. It, like, how can you argue against that, right? Many people judged him for that same move, but he makes that move because he's taking care of his people. He supposedly made the same offer to Maniac. Now, that was a confusing situation as well. If you guys watch Maniac's video, the offer was there. Then it kind of tentatively was not. Still, he made sure Maniac got a new home as a content creator for the Florida Mutineers uh, before re-offering that offer. It's confusing, but the offer at one point in time was there possibly for Nick or Maniac as well. And certainly when it comes time for a guy like Big Timer, who recently was the most recent to sign, the biggest signing NRG could do. When this guy grinds videos, he has his own side hobbies, his own side jobs the dude knows how to make money when he is grinding out videos no one grinds harder than big timer and possibly the most beloved face of optic in their history is a guy like big t they sign him as well and it doesn't stop there remember the still current best by far and away gears of war roster formerly of optic signed to nrg yes it makes sense because they are the best but they didn't have to do that NRG did not have to say, Hector, you have the power to do all of this, and he's taking full advantage of doing all of this. They signed the entire Gears of War roster on top of that before they let go of their CSGO roster. That was former Optic Boys as well. Daps, Stannis, Tarek on top of everything else. They held that roster NRG for quite some time before selling them to Evil Geniuses for a great, great price. There is no other CEO in esports who has tried to take care of his former family as much as Hector, and no other ever will. And for people to argue against that, 
I hope you guys can understand now why it pisses me off. Hector did not have to sell Optic, but eventually you have to reap what you sow. He built up everything. Why do you think he does not deserve some type of reward for doing that? Even then, when you consider the fact, once he sold that majority ownership, he could have left esports entirely, gone and done his own thing, gone away from the scene entirely as well. He chose to join another esports organization and then bring back all those former people that he felt he might have wronged with the failure of that current sale. Didn't have to do any of it, but he's still pursuing it as well as we, as we currently speak. I greatly respect that move, guys. I greatly respect Optic, and I really do enjoy the new Optic as well, but not as much as I enjoy the new NRG and what they're doing on top of that with Hector as co-reigns over there on top of everything else. Thought I would make my statement for all of you guys. I just, I like making these things public because I hate seeing those kind of comments. What do you guys think about this? I'm sure we'll have a few commenters out there who do hate on the guy, and albeit that's going to persist, but hopefully I can sway a few of you guys back towards Hector's side, which I'm sure there are many of you on it, as he does great things with NRG now. No longer Optic, but now we have NRG, and I cannot wait to see their future as well. Until next time, hope you guys all enjoy. we got a long week in front of us, okay? Stay tuned. I'll be back here shortly.